we get to talk about accounting ethics, and which is, you know, like people ethics. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't steal from people. Um, you know, messages that you sort of learn when you're younger. Except some companies, not pointing any fingers, uh, you know, decides to do whatever they wanted, and as a result, we have guidelines that we have to follow when we do accounting, which is definitely not a bad thing. Uh, I definitely believe in democracy, but I believe in rules for fair democracy. And the Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB as they are popularly known, have put together general accepted accounting principles for people to follow. Because if you do your accounting one way and the next person does his accounting another way, there's no way for me to actually ascertain any real information because I'm not comparing apples to apples and we need to be able to do that. So the general accepted accounting principles from the Financial Accounting Standards Boards helps us to kind of standardize everything. So they're just rules and standards that companies have to meet when they're doing their accounting. Again, remember that accounting is the story of a business. You do not get to lie in your story. It's a true story of the business. So if you are lying, the Securities Exchange Commission, the SEC, are supposed to enforce the rules. They're supposed to keep you in check and actually assign punitive uh, damages if you are found in breach of, you know, any sensible way of actually conducting yourself in a business manner. And again, the, uh, some examples that you can look into are the Enron scandal, which I absolutely placed here because it was my introduction actually into accounting. I, I don't remember what grade I was in, but I think it was in high school when it started to happen, or maybe before that. Yeah, time kind of just blurs itself. But I remember that being my start because I had no idea about accounting. And then my curiosity was kind of sparked there. Well, not of curiosity because I didn't pursue anything, but I knew that accounting was relevant. And WorldCom, AIG, which we'll probably talk about later, and um, also as a result of just people doing whatever they wanted and cheating people out of their pensions and just investors out of their ability to make the right decision with the correct information, uh, Sarbanes-Oxley Act was enacted in 2002, and I'm going to go over to Wikipedia to exactly uh, try and give you an idea of what it is. So, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002, also known as the Public Company Accounting Reform and Investor Protection Act, and apparently, this is what they call it in the House of Senate. Or, if you're in the House of Representatives, they call it the Corporate and Auditing Accountability and Responsibility Act. And if you're not in the House of Representatives, apparently if you're just on the street, some people call it Sarbanes-Oxley, some other people call it Sarbox, and I think the coolest of the cool call it just Sox, S-O-X. I think I'm just going to start calling it Sox, it sounds pretty awesome. But it's a United States federal law that set a new or enhanced standard for all U.S. public company boards, management, and public accounting firms. I like the way Wikipedia detailed this because emphasizing the fact that this is for public companies okay if you're going to trade your shares on the market you have to be held accountable to higher standards because people are placing their trust in what you're telling them again why accounting has to be truthful and i'm just going to read another line of what it says on wikipedia about sarbanes oxley and please look into this on your own if you are curious the bill which contains 11 sections was enacted as a reaction to a number of major corporate and accounting scandals, including Enron and WorldCom. So, just to give you an idea of why I placed them on the top there, uh, the bottom line here says Sarbanes Oxley Act, and you could definitely, absolutely go on YouTube and just look into the Enron and WorldCom scandals. Uh, it should actually probably make you a little bit more passionate about doing the right thing and just open your eyes to how a company really has the flexibility to cheat people if there are no to actually guide them so to all the anarchists out there yes rules 